treatment decision making in metastatic renal cancer, which role for COMPARS and PCES data? So the COMPARS and PICES study play an important role in treatment decisions in renal cancer. Um, the COMPARS trial is the largest trial in metastatic renal cancer and it compares sunitinib and pazopinib and it shows the drugs are not dissimilar to one another in terms of efficacy. They work the same both in terms of aggression free survival and overall survival. But at the same time it appears the two drugs have distinct toxicity profiles and that translates to a patient preference and that patient preference is demonstrated in the Pisces trial where patients were directly asked whether or not they patients were given both drugs for a period of time and then were asked which drug they preferred and the majority of patients preferred pazopinib over sunitinib and what that does for us is it reinforces the results from the, compa the larger COMPARS trial that there are distinct differences in the toxicity profiles but particularly for symptomatic issues which translates to quality of life and subsequent patient preference, pazopinib appears to have some attractive elements to it. Uh, how related the quality of life and patient preference, which role in clinical practice? So um, the role in clinical practice of um, patient preference is really important. My, my patients come to me and they say um, I want the most active drug and efficacy is really important and sunitinib and pazopinib have equal activity but behind there patients ask about their um, quality of life and they obviously patients and doctors would prefer to give drugs that are better tolerated to patients. Um, the differences between the drugs are somewhat subtle um, when one looks overall but in those really key areas of fatigue, hand and foot syndrome and mucositis, those areas their patients come back uh, to clinics saying they have side effects Pazopinib appears to have lower rates than uh, sunitinib, and that's attractive from a patient preference perspective. Pazopinib, on the other hand, has other toxicities which may be higher, for example, liver toxicity. So there is a genuine balance between the two drugs. But in that key area of patient preference, pazopinib appears superior to sunitinib.